Hi, I'm Lisa McCree with the Skinny for Everyday Health. If you've ever ordered French toast at a restaurant on a Sunday morning, you might want to think again. Those fabulous French toast platters can have 1,000 to 1,200 calories. Ooh la la, Frère Jaca, right? Ding dang dong. But that doesn't mean you have to say au revoir to French toast forever. Now, you can make French toast at home this Sunday. It's super simple and super quick and has fewer than 200 calories a plate. So you can have an encore next Sunday without having to loosen your pantalones. All right, now regular French toast is made with full calorie bread, obviously heavy cream and whole eggs, tons of sugar, and the real maple syrup. But we're gonna drastically cut calories by using a few skinny substitutions. Light bread has only 45 calories a slice. And instead of whole eggs, we're gonna use a half a cup of liquid egg whites. I really like the ones that are in the carton. They're so easy to use. And just a splash of fat-free half and half. It has just about 10 calories. Turn my pan on. Now let's season the egg and cream mixture. We're gonna use a little bit of brown sugar. You don't wanna to use too much. You're not actually using the brown sugar to sweeten the bread, and we'll get to that later with the syrup. But you want it to help the bread brown. And then we're gonna use some cinnamon, a whole teaspoon, in fact. I know it seems like a lot of seasoning for just two pieces of bread, but because you're taking away all that fat, you wanna add in a lot of flavor, and cinnamon's a great way to do it. We're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla, because I think it just has to be there. And a pinch of salt. Not too much, but it just helps bring out the natural sweetness of all the other ingredients. And instead of full fat butter, which would add a couple of hundred calories, we're gonna use fat-free butter cooking oil. It's just flavored with butter, not made with butter. And we're gonna let that heat up for about 20 seconds while we whisk our ingredients and soak our bread. Now you want the bread to be really well coated, but you don't want it to stay in it too long because it will fall apart on you. You see how that cinnamon is going right into the bread? It's really gonna add some great flavor. All right, how's my pan doing? I can feel the heat. I don't want to drop the toast on before it's hot, so I'm going to give it a little test run. Oh, look, a little sizzle. It's ready to go. Carefully load those slices. You don't want them to tear. All right. And we're going to let those cook for a few minutes to get nice and brown and crunchy on one side while we chop up some toppings. We're lucky in California to have strawberries almost year round. If you don't have strawberries where you live, just use frozen ones, they'll be fine. Now, my kids love strawberries, so I always try to have them in the refrigerator as a snack. And when I can add them to meals, like on top of this dish, it's great. Extra vitamins, extra fiber. All right, check on this French toast and see how it's doing. Oh, perfect. Ah, yay. I'm gonna carefully flip these guys over. Ooh. And then what you're gonna do is immediately turn your heat down because you want the French toast to keep cooking so that that egg is cooked all the way through, but you don't want the edges to burn. You know, my kids love bananas too, but I'm a little careful with them. A whole banana has 100 calories. So if you're gonna add it to the French toast, just to keep your calorie count in check, just use like a quarter. That seems about right. I'm gonna take these again. Oh, great. Now, I wanna show you how they're browning on both sides and the egg mixture weeping out a little bit as it cooks. 
You may have to flip them a few times to get them thoroughly cooked through and keep doing it until they're done. You don't want to eat raw egg. You'll know when they're finished because they'll be firm in the center, but not burn. See, just continue to flip until they get to that nice color that you're looking for. You know, I make these just on any given school day now because they're just so easy and they make everybody so happy. Pretty. All right, we're gonna put our toppings on. Strawberries. Oh gosh, this smells so good. My whole kitchen smells like butter even though I didn't use any. And the sweetness and the cinnamon flavor, perfect. All right. And just a couple of other things to make this really beautiful breakfast. Blueberries. Love them. They had them fresh at the market this morning and I thought they'd be the perfect little addition. Isn't that gorgeous with the red, white, and blue? Awful patriotic for a breakfast. All right, now here's the real skinny secret about this breakfast. Sugar-free maple syrup. I know, I'm usually the person saying, don't use anything artificial. However, this is a cheat that's really worth it. Real maple syrup has 200 calories in a quarter cup. This stuff, has 20. I know, you do the math. Ah, oh, perfect. And if you wanna really show off if your kids are having a sleepover, how about dust a little bit of powdered sugar? By the way, I'm just using a tea strainer. It's a good little tip, right? You just want enough to dress it up, but not so much that you jack up your blood sugar. And that's it. Next time, you feel like French toast, instead of spending $10 or $12 and 1,000 to 1,200 calories on a restaurant version, try this skinny version of French toast at home. Your scale will say merci beaucoup. Check out all of my skinny videos on this channel and post a comment. Let me know what you think.